Um, <coughs> I like to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and salutations to the Akim around the world, pushing his truth and sincerity. Akim, we're starting to see that the time's coming close, starting to see different news broadcasts, World War Three. <coughs> Today's revelations 9 verse 12 They say one woe is past And behold There come two more woes Hereafter and This woe was talking about destruction Which was referring to World War 1 And World War 2 Right Already taking this. The United States has begun stationing troops in Poland as part of an ongoing NATO plan to deploy forces along the Russian borders. Around 2,800 pieces of military hardware, including 87 tanks, are also being transported by land from Germany. This is the largest shipment of U.S. brigades to Europe since the fall of the Soviet Union. The new forces will be fanned out across seven countries, from Estonia to Bulgaria, while a headquarters unit will be stationed in Germany. The U.S. currently has 70,000 troops in Europe. Other NATO members also increasing their presence in the region, with Britain sending fighter jets to the Black Sea area, while a battalion of troops, tanks and light armoured vehicles will be deployed to Estonia in the spring, backed by French and Danish forces. Germany also plans to send troops and tanks to Lithuania. Analysts say the military build-up along Russia's borders could heighten the risk of a new war. Now I just see. The world getting ready for war again. Today's Revelations 11 verse 14 and say, The second war is past, and behold, the third war coming quickly. So this, what the gears enough for right now is World War Three. <clears throat> and not only that, this is also a tool to instill fear into the citizens. To be able to implement things like the microchip, more like how they want it to be implemented, or things like martial law. So we went from swimming downwards to a point where you reach no water, you just start a fall. <laughs> things gain from bad to worse. So now is the time that brothers are supposed to try to have self in our order as much as possible. Try to live according to the scriptures. Try to apply what it is you learn and hold firm to it. Try to push as much as you could because time running out. Say Revelations 2, verse 26. You say, But that which ye have already, hold fast till I come, which is this knowledge and understanding. We're supposed to be holding fast to this because you have brothers who know way less than other brothers. But everything that you learn so far, whether it be how to serve the Mosai, keep the commandments, anything you learn pertaining to the scriptures that is good, you're supposed to hold fast, hold fast to it until he come. It say, and he that overcome it, and keep it my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. So this will be the reward of those who actually home firm till the end. Because as we can see, the end is very near. So, try to keep in the spirit. And hold firm as much as possible. Every man does stumble. But a man who stumble and stay down is the one who already fall. <coughs> with that, I'd like to give all praises, honor and glory. To Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone of the well. And salutations to the Akim around the world. Pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.